Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work because I have an interesting little math word problem here for you to solve. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. What simple annual interest rate would make a $7,000 investment grow to $7,800 in a one-year period? All right, so that's the question. Feel free to use a calculator to help you out here. But uh, if you can solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to fully explain this problem step by step. Now, some of you might be saying, well, I'm not quite sure what simple annual interest rate means. And, uh, of course, I'm going to explain this in just one second. But first, I want to give you a full opportunity for you to solve this problem. All right. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the answer is. But uh, one thing to note here is that we are talking about money, right? And of course, we're investing. And if you like money and if you like to grow your money and invest your money, well, you absolutely need to have some basic math skills. You don't need to know super advanced math, but you certainly need to understand how interest works. And uh, this is a pretty big topic uh, because not every single problem is going to be about simple interest. There's other types of interest. And of course, I'll explain this in the solution. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is about 11.42%. That is the simple annual interest rate you would need to grow your $7,000 into $7,800. All right, so if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a financial expert, you are a wizard, on Wall Street. Matter of fact, you might even think about starting your own hedge fund, but uh, really you are a certified professional in percentage, okay? Because really this is what this comes down to. This is effectively a basic percent word problem, okay? Now, of course, we need to understand what these uh, terms mean, this uh, vocabulary, simple annual interest rates. But really, if you understand how to deal with percent, then this should be a fairly uh, easy problem. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the first thing, uh, you know, we first thing to consider is that hey, we have a problem here. We want to read the problem at least three times before we do anything. Now, when you're reading a problem, if you don't understand what the terminology is, right? If you don't understand what these words mean, well, then you're going to be in trouble. So, for those of you that are math students or you know taking some sort of math course, always raise your hand. Sometimes your teacher will help you out. They might like, oh, this is what this means, but Again, you know, if you don't understand what the terms are, then you're going to be lost. So let's kind of get into this for, um, right now. So we have this simple annual interest rate. This is what we're looking for, right? Uh, what does this mean? Well, I'll explain what this means in just one second. But effectively, this is kind of common sense, right? We're making an investment of $7,000. We want to grow it to $7,800 in a one-year period. How do we get anything to grow? How do we make money on our money? Well, you have to put it in a bank or some other financial institution, and they're going to give you some interest back. So let's go to uh, really understand this basic financial model here and get some uh, basic terminology down as well. All right, so um, when you have some money and you want to make some money on your money, you take your amount of money that you have that you've worked up and saved, and you go to some institution like a bank. Now, this money that you have is called your principal amount, okay? Now, this is money that you saved up. It has nothing, you know, this is before you put it in the bank, if you will. So that's what we call the principal, okay? Now, you go to a bank or some sort of other financial institution, and they'll say, hey, listen, uh, if you give me your money, in this case, it's what, $7,000, right? If you put that money into our uh, bank and you don't take it out for one year, we will compensate you by giving you some money back. And that money back is going to be called interest, okay? So the interest is going to be the amount of money the bank is going to pay you or some other financial institution for keeping 
your money in that institution for a set period of time. Now, what we're talking about in this particular problem is something called simple annual interest. Now, there's all different sorts of interest rates. There's things called continuous compound interest, quarterly compound interest. It gets into be a pretty big topic, but simple annual interest rate is effectively a, a very simple concept. And basically, it works like this. And we're talking about the word annual. So we're talking about one year. So the bank says, listen, if you keep your money in this bank for one year annually, okay, at the end of that one year, I'm going to give you back some money, okay? And it's just going to be a simple calculation, and it's going to be a percentage of the money you put in. So this is, you know, a very basic uh, concept, hopefully, is that you're saying, all right, I'm going to put in $7,000 uh, you're going to give me some percent of this $7,000 at the end of one year. That's effectively a simple uh, annual interest rate. Now, in this particular problem, we're looking for this percentage, okay, because we're going to put in this $7,000 and the total amount on our investment is, of course, our original amount plus our interest. So at the end of one year, in this particular uh, scenario, we're going to have $7,800. Okay, so this is uh, effectively what's going on here. So let's go ahead and take the next step and understand, uh, you know, you can kind of break this down into an algebra problem, but really it's very easy to see. If we have $7,000 as our principal starting amount and our total amount after one year is $7,800, uh, uh, $7, $7,800, what is the amount of interest that we earned? Now, most of you can say, just see that, oh, it's $7,800, $7, it's $800. But if you wanted to kind of use some uh, algebra, basic algebra here, you can say, okay, well, principal plus your interest is your amount earned. So I can simply just uh, subtract $7,000 from both sides of the equation, and you're going to end up with $800 of interest. But again, that's just the amount of interest that you earn. We're looking for the interest rate, okay? So this word, uh, our, uh, rate, uh, interest rates is going to be expressed in terms of percentage, okay? Things like if you look at, say, commercials and whatnot, especially financing credit cards, car loans, uh, they usually have like APR, annual percentage rate, and there's that lovely uh, percentage symbol. So that's what we're looking for in this particular problem, but we do at least have the amount of interest that we need to earn, uh, which is $800, on our $7,000. So we're going to have to consider these two numbers. And really, this comes down to this problem right here. 800, uh, $800 or 800 is what percent of 7,000? Okay, 800 is what percent of 7,000? Because this percent is the simple uh, annual interest rate. It's the percentage. Uh, the bank is going to give you some percent on your $7,000 so you can earn $800, which is the interest uh, to get your principal plus your interest to $7,800. All right, so if you understand this, well, um, from this point forward, what we have to do is solve this lovely percentage problem. Okay, so 800 is what percent of $7,000? Well, let's go ahead and take that next step, which of course is to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel before uh, we answer this lovely percent question. Now, I wanna interrupt the solution to this video if it wasn't that important, I really do need your support to uh, not only achieve my personal objectives, but to help other people. And then basically my personal objectives are the same thing as helping other people. I wanna grow my YouTube classroom as big as I can. My number one goal is to reach people that are one, interested in math, but particularly that need help in math because I uh, really am passionate about uh, helping people not give up in math. This is what I'm trying to uh, really stop. People are like, I don't get math, I hate math, therefore I'm not going to take math anymore. And uh, the reason why I'm passionate about this is because I've been doing this for decades, years and years and years, and I've heard so many stories, I've seen so many stories of people that have given up on math far too early. Um, sometimes they get a bad teacher. Uh, so it could be any kind of combination of, of things, but listen, if you're frustrated with math, uh, uh, here's what I, my quick message to you. One, find a teacher that you like and understand. And two, uh, there are no shortcuts. Okay, so you do have to put the work in, but do not give up. All right, but by you subscribing, it really does help me uh, reach other people. Thank you so much. And by the way, if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. 
And now let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Okay, so here we go. So 800 is uh, what percent of 7,000? Well, how can we think of this? Well, percentage, you know, this is a pretty pretty big topic. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I know percent. Well, they might be able to find like, you know, 20% of, you know, uh, you know, real basic problems. People think, oh, I understand percent because I can find 7% of 90. Okay, great. 7% of 90 is 0 0.07 times 90. But this is just one uh, type of, one flavor of percent questions. There's other types. Okay, so percent is a pretty interesting and extremely important math concept that you need to understand. And there's different types of scenarios that we need to be able to you know, conceptualize percent situations about, right? So that was really bad and confusing grammar. But basically what I'm telling you is that this is not the only percent question that you need to be able to solve. So you have to be able to solve questions like this as well. So 800 is what percent of 7,000? Well, one good way to think about percent questions is that um, you'll have a part out of a whole, right? So if one is... Uh, let's say 50% of two, okay, one is 50% of two, well, that's one out of two is 50%, right? So one is, that that's represents the uh, part, and two is the whole, okay? So when you have two numbers, right, 800 is what percent, and I want to know the percentage, try to think to yourself, what what is the part, what is the whole? Well, 800 is some part out of 7,000, okay? So if we take 800 and divide it by 7,000, we're going to get a decimal. Now, not the percentage yet, okay? We want the percent, but we'll get a uh, decimal of 0. Uh, 0.1142. Now, this is approximately, because I did round off a bit, but uh, we want the percent, okay? But we have a decimal, so we have to convert or write a, this decimal as a percent. And how do we change a uh, decimal to a percentage? Well, uh, what we need to do is multiply by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So we can take this 0.1142, move that decimal point over two places to the right, we're going to get 11.42%, okay, because that's what we want. All right, now, if some of you are like, boy, you know, this is still confusing, well, let me give you a couple quick suggestions because you must understand percent. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about percent, but uh, two, uh, you might want to check out my Math Foundations course. Uh, it's a basic little mini course, uh, kind of a, a basic math boot camp, if you will. You'll find a link to that in the description below. Also, you might be interested in my new course called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. If you want to learn basic math and then go beyond that uh, into algebra and geometry and basic trigonometry and probability statistics, that's the course for you. And that basic math component uh, is uh, in that course as well. All right, so here is our answer, 11.42%. Uh, percent, and this would be the amount that the bank would, in fact, uh, give us. So uh, essentially, our principal is $7,000, right? So we're like, all right, the bank is going to give me 11.42% on my money, okay? Now, let's suppose uh, we didn't know about this $7,800, and you're saying, oh, wow, the bank's going to give me 11.42% uh, if I keep... That would be the simple annual interest rate if I keep the money in the bank for one year. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate this out. How, well, you know, how much money, how much interest would I make? Again, the bank is going to express its interest in terms of an interest rate, okay, to actually calculate the amount you'll make on it. Well, you have to consider how much you're going to put into the bank, okay? So we're putting in 7000 so we need to figure out, okay, 11 point. 42% of 7,000 is what? Well, we're just going to take this percent and uh, write it as a decimal. So that's going to be 0 0.1142. We'll multiply that by 7,000. And look at that. It's going to be 799.4, pretty close to $800 because uh, we did do a little bit of rounding off. But if we have our 7,000 and we add 799.4, we're pretty much at $7,800. Now, uh, this kind of um, calculations that we're doing here has a lot of practical value, especially these days. The time I'm posting this video, interest rates have gone up significantly, so, so has inflation as well. Now, if you don't understand uh, these basic concepts like interest rates, inflation, and whatnot, well, you absolutely need to understand this stuff because this is, you know, has dramatic impact on our personal finances. And if there's going to be one math concept that 
you know, you should learn. <laughs> if, you, if you're not interested in math at all, okay, but you're like, all right, if I could tell you, okay, well, at least learn this one thing, it would be percent, okay, because percent is everywhere and it has a major impact on your finances. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.